Hey guys, it's Shaggy here, Ray. Hey, hey, G Unit. Welcome to a 9v9 Team Deathmatch Grand War gameplay. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be 9v9, but unfortunately, uh, uh, we don't have that many players in this lobby. Uh, I don't know what happened, but so for some reason, we were limited to how many we had uh, from the start. So it wasn't that many players. So uh, I took advantage of that and I also noticed that these guys weren't actually good at the game itself. Um, my teammates and the opponents. So you know what? I decided to go for the higher score streaks because I was in the same lobby in the previous game. In the previous game, I was using the lower score streaks like the UAV, Hunter Killer and Lightning Strike. And I got a pretty decent match with that as well, which I might post. But I don't think there's no need. I think that there's no point in posting that because, you know, I'm playing against really bad players and I'm playing with really bad players. So it doesn't really like it doesn't really appeal to me that uh, it's something that I should be satisfied with because it was too easy to get. Like, I'm not playing against good players. Now, obviously, most YouTubers out there that get really high scores, like, I've seen a lot of gameplays already with Black Ops 2, uh, people getting over 100 kills and, like, one death and whatever, I don't know. Um, they play against shitty players just like these. So, um, there's nothing to be proud of, you know. I, honestly, I mean, these, these YouTubers out there claiming that this is so hard to get and this requires a lot of concentration, a good play style, whatever. Honestly, it's, it's nothing like that. It's just uh, they get lucky going into lobbies with shitty players. Honestly, I thought Treyarch fixed that. I thought Treyarch actually implemented the skilled matchmaking system. Uh, obviously, most of the time they, they have uh, done that correctly. But for some reason, you get these odd lobbies where you go into, uh, you search a game and you end up with uh, people that haven't ever prestiged it. And you're a six prestige. I mean, in this gameplay, I was six prestige. So I was pretty confused because I was the only dude that was actually prestige, but six times further than these guys have ever, you know, even done. Uh, even if I played Call of Duty Black Ops, I think, sorry, I think, you know, it's just weird um, that I was, I was able to match, uh, you know, match up with these guys in the lobby. Uh, my stats are way higher than these guys. There's not equal whatsoever. So I honestly don't know what went wrong there. But uh, I guess, you know, for some reason, you got to be thankful, you know, finally you get a little break and so things are a bit easy, you know, getting that XP. Because I, well, it's one of the reasons why I proceed up so fast uh, from the 50 to 55 marker from 6 prestige. I did it in one night because it was so, it's just like, I kept getting into these lobbies with crappy players. Like, I stick, I, I took advantage of this lobby and I stick to it because uh, I stuck to it because um, you know I don't want to leave. You know, if I'm playing against crappy players, it must be easy for me to get the XP, right? So uh, I decided to stick to it and just annihilate these guys. You know, use the Loadster, K9, you know, and the Swarm, uh, the three highest, the, op the most OP score streaks out there. And obviously, once you get the Loadster, it's pretty much over because you're gonna get the Swarm guaranteed anyway. For as long as you have that safe spot. Because, you know, it's not that uh, you know, far by after getting loaded stuff to get the dogs anyway. So, uh, caught out the dogs and got the got the swarm now. So, I guess, you know, I, I think the other teams ended up with three players now, I think. But, yeah, I think players do connect back. But, yet again, the players who connect back onto their team are quite bad as well. Now, you know, I don't want to claim that, you know, because of the title, it says 58 kills, team deathmatch. I'm not claiming that this is amazing because, you know... Once again, I'm pretty sure most of you guys would have got the same score, maybe even higher if I didn't have died. Like, if, if I hadn't have died, then I, I probably would have got that. So honestly, how could he not have killed me there? Didn't he see me? I, I don't understand. Like, when I got back, oh shit, you know, what? I, I was, honestly, when I was going up, going up these stairs, I was, I was thinking to myself, how on earth did he not kill me? You know, this looks so weird and it does look dodgy as fuck, man. But telling you right now that I got into a messed up lobby. And honestly, like now new players join in. I'm thinking okay, now it's going to be fun, but no, still, I still keep going on this kill and killing spree. But I do end up dying somehow. I was lucky here. Uh, but I somehow end up dying uh, somewhere along the path. I'm not sure, but I, I was going on a nice streak, actually. But a team deathmatch, you, know, you usually wouldn't expect to get a lot of kills because your teammates should be doing some of the kills as well. And in, or in order to only achieve this, I believe that you need to have a shitty, shitty teammates at the same time, crappy opponent. Because your teammates would probably be having, having to sit back and camp like what my teammates are doing. I only wanted to do is rushing around a couple of guys actually. But they don't seem to be getting as much kills that I would have expected them to do so. And obviously they kept dying to the opponents and I was just picking my roots, making sure everything's right until this point. I was like, oh, really? Really? You'd expect a dude to actually come back and come up there at any given point? But I had to do it at that time. But yeah, I ended up, I ended up dying at a 46 streak in a team deathmatch, which I thought was pretty good. Um, my ratio wasn't too bad, actually, in this game, even though I shouldn't have died uh, again, because I did die twice in this gameplay. And I, I don't think I got the second swarm, unfortunately. But um, yeah, this is a team deathmatch. 
And honestly, guys, uh, I don't understand what's going on right now with the matchmaking, if it's true or not. If it is true, then honestly, they failed to do so. Because I do really feel sorry for some of the guys that I'm playing against. And yeah, that, that was a decent kill, that guy dude, against, uh, dude that got against uh, got, got against me. But um, anyway, that, that is it. That's, that's going to be the final death. 12 more kills to get, and uh, somehow I managed to get most of them as I went on a rampage spree at this spawn. And as we can see... They spawn in and we just got them at this spawn and hope on a team deathmatch is to go into the open spaces and try and get as much kills as you can because that's pretty much where they're going to be and also obviously go into the spaces where the teammates are not there and uh, I don't know uh, I don't know whether to feel sorry for them or it's just like I don't know it's just uh, honestly I, I just oh my god these guys these guys are bad all right these guys are just bad so a uh, 58 kills in team deathmatch and uh, still getting those kills like getting those kills here and just get more kills and more kills. I really should have got my second swarm and that would have been even more dirtier. I think I would have probably got my first 60 plus game playing a team deathmatch. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed sort of I guess, you know, uh, at least one of the dudes, two of the guys were prestige another team. I don't, I don't know why these guys were so bad. But yeah, as always, I much appreciate if you guys give a rating for this video. More videos coming soon. I haven't posted much today, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Check it out. Sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, time to hit 7th prestige, uh, I'm just so fucked up right now, because I haven't slept for 2 days, <laughs> but yeah, here we go, this is, um, currently 327th 